everyone. So in today's video we will learn how to do a D flip flop in uh, Vivado in VHDL. So let's open Vivado, create project, next, we'll call it D FF, next, next. Of course I'll choose the basis 3 FPJ board, next, finish. So first let's change the target language from Verilog to VHDL. Okay. So now let's add the sources, add or create design sources. Next, create file. We'll call it top ff. Okay. Finish. So now you add all asks to declare the input and output ports. So we will have the, the input data the clock and then Q which is the output okay so now Ivato is generating the top VHD file we can open it okay so inside the architecture we need to declare the process in the sensitivity list we need to put the clock okay so now we need to write if rising edge of clock then Q is equal to D and if and then process. So control S to save. So now we need to generate the test bench. So to generate the test bench we need to go to sources, add or add sources, add or create simulation sources. Next, create file, we'll call it TB. OK. Finish. OK. Yes. So now we've just created the TB.bhd file. So I already wrote the test bench. You can just copy the code. And if you don't know how to write a test bench, I already made a video on this topic. So inside the stimulus process, uh, we have D that is equal to 0, then after 5 nanoseconds D is equal to 1, then after 1 nanosecond D is equal to 0, we wait for 3 nanoseconds D is equal to 1, and then after 2 nanoseconds D is equal to 0. So if we run the simulation, run behavioral simulation, So now if we check the waveform, if we zoom out, as you can see, the Q signal follows the D signal, but only when the clock is going from 0 to 1. So now we can run the synthesis. Okay. So we can close the simulation, OK. In the same runs we can check the status of the synthesis. OK, so the synthesis is completed, so we can open the synthesized design, OK. Okay, so now in IO ports we need to connect the scalar ports to the pins of the FPGA. So we have the clock input, we connect it to the W5 pin. 
standard is LVCMOS33. So the other input will connect it to the first switch, which is R2. Standard LVCMOS33. And the output, the Q signal, will connect it to the first LED, L1. The standard is LVCMOS33. So control S to save. OK. We'll create the constraint file. And OK. So now we can generate the B stream. And of course, Vivado will relaunch the synthesis. So we can close the synthesized design. OK, so the implementation is completed. We can open the hardware manager. We can turn on the FPGA board. So open target, auto connect. So we can program the device with our bitstream program. So now, as you can see, the LED turns on when the switch is up. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. See you in the next video.